Mine is thick. Wait, how do you know mine, mine just is, looks like how a do you know mine is sauce? <laughs> well, I'm glad I hit the record button for that. Damn one. it! <laughs> really glad that happened. <laughs> No, like mine, my beard grows like, so like my dad's side of the family cannot grow a beard at all. Like my dad will go weeks before peach fuzz shows up on his face. But my grandpa on his side, my mom's side. Good oh, your God. grandpa's got a glorious beard. Yes, he does. Nice Great white beard. beard. So I'm like caught in the middle, which I mean, I guess I'm happy what I got, but I just always wish it grew thicker. And it's about as long as it gets. If I grow it any longer, it just like starts going out. It's weird. I remember it has like a, a fun curl like it curls it's, outward and stuff it's dumb it's dumb i can't get like a pirate's beard like ben over there see mine will not grow down it grows into itself so like you shower or like brush it <laughs> brush it out and it's actually this long but it just won't it, it's annoying anyway welcome to beard talk on the <laughs> mortal death podcast hair talk <laughs> right before we got on andrew was complaining that he's going bald and he started crying so <laughs> Started crying, yeah. That's what I did. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode, Boards Old Death. How are we doing today, gentlemen? Good. We I'm staying al- doing good. We staying good. alive? Ben, you, you awake? You good? I am fine. You good? Yeah? I mean, you're working mad hours down is, in the coal everything mines. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, then. <laughs> I've uh, I'm finally feeling 100. percent This is like the first time I feel 100 percent since the start of the new year. So, thank you, thank you, health. I'm Welcome. sure I'll last like a week or so, but I'm sure the sun has something to do with it too. It's finally warm out here. Anything exciting happen this week, boys? Before we get into things, I had a crazy week, which I feel like is probably a stark contrast to Ben's week. Ben was, how was your week? <laughs> My week was fine. I mean, there you go. Okay. I just worked. There you, know? you go. And then okay. I worked. How many hours? And working? I had my last week. Uh, I clocked in 70 hours last Oof. week. Uh, and then I just had my last three days off for the foreseeable future. So we went to go see Super Mario Bros. And we. Huh. That's actually all I remember. And we bought patio furniture. So, you know, real nice. oh. adulting on them days off. You know what? Come back to this. this is going to lead to a little segment nope, I want to have wanna. today. Nope, we're, this we're is over. Come back this to is it. my no, statement. We're no, done. Move no, on. We're going to come back Andrew, to it. Andrew, how was your week? Andrew, give us some exciting things to happen <laughs> for you. Did, did you buy a camera? Did you take a photo or something? It's usually your excitement for you. How did you know I bought a camera? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're I predictable. A, I bought a camera today. Uh, I wasn't even going to mention it, but yeah, I did. Um, but it, it's coming from Japan, and they're on holiday until the seventh, so it's not going to ship out to the eighth. What are they celebrating? <laughs> I don't know. Japan stuff. Japanese um, stuff. <laughs> um, it's not going to uh, <laughs> God. Um, Monday, so this past weekend, we went and visited uh, Aaron's side of the family. They came up to Gatlinburg, which is only like an hour and a half from us. So we went over there. They got a cabin. So we spent the night there, Saturday night, Sunday night. Uh, I stayed home for whatever they were doing on Monday. They went to Dollywood and I worked and then came home today. Let was- me tell you what. That sounds miserable. <laughs> Can you imagine staying in a cabin with your family? Like, family at most is tolerable for about 24 hours. But to stay in a small cabin in the woods with them, like, you have no other where, other place to go. You're stuck. You have to have awkward conversations. <laughs> like, you know, like, it's just like, okay, this was fun. What else do we do? Oh, there's a beer. I guess I'll have five. Uh, you know, like... We're playing Uno yeah, again. Yeah, <laughs> you, you kind of start to run out of conversation. You're just like, so, uh, yeah. Um, so, do you believe in God? <laughs> just like, just like, just you just dive into like random deep conversations. I know. Oh nowhere. my god, something like that. No, um, no, it was it was good. It was especially good for me because Monday I got to stay home and work uh, instead of go to Dollywood because I'm not a fan of Dollywood. But 
Um, I've never been, but I just have no desire to ever go there. From what I, mean, I it's, hear, I mean it's 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 fine for like a one time thing for me because I mean they got the rides, they got the it's, yeah, really it's good a theme food. park, right? It's, yeah, it, I mean, is, it, anything, is it like a is it like a glorified like fair or carnival or something in a way? It's, it's a step up from that. It's okay. a step up from that. Like the the no, roller coaster theme park. The roller coasters are not questionable. <laughs> um, gotcha. And they got like music everywhere. They got stages with live bands all over the place because you know it's very music centered theme park. Much of country. Been. So, but they they got like blacksmith shops, like people actually doing old school blacksmithing and stuff. Well, that's kind of cool. It, it that part is like the shops and stuff are really neat, but it's just not something that I could. I'm like I've been once, so I I'm not in a hurry to go back. So, but uh, today I got like a bunch of news coming in all at once i have a commissioned wood piece that i'm doing which is like a Ooh. giant a giant traditional uh like flash art style star wars piece they want two lightsaber hilts and like roses and stuff and everything um and then i'm also going to be selling some of the stickers that i've designed in aaron's store um coming up here and i'm also designing new stickers for them they specifically want star wars stuff because they don't have enough of that and then I'm also doing logo work for the store for because they're doing a book club coming up. So I got all kinds of stuff coming up, which is kind of cool. You're a busy, busy man. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. You, you gotta do the grind to get you know get your name out there and stuff. The big pieces yeah. and the stuff that you really are into will come and everything like that. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. Yeah. So Happy for that's you. neat. I'm, uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Much excite. I've uh. I was pulling a bin this week. I just worked like 90 hours, so it's all good. Nothing exciting over here. Making up for that you last week of not, not working. Work 90 hours. I didn't, okay, so I didn't work 90 hours. I refused to do that after like 26 years old because fuck that. Um, but no, I've been working like 3 a.m. shifts and everything like that. It's been pretty gnarly. I don't know if y'all have noticed. I've been messaging the group at like 6 a.m. for you guys. Don't try to one-up me and my work ethic <laughs> oh, and I don't my want poor to. decisions in you, jobs. You can have it. No, I'm no, not, no, no. I don't want that. Nope. I'm done with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, I um, no, actually, um, I thought I was going to be short on rent. And then like my tax return just randomly showed up my account. I'm like, I had a ah, type moment last nice. night and everything. It was great. <laughs> so. Yeah. Other than that, nothing crazy. Just getting ready for World War III. I don't know if y'all saw. You know, getting crazy out there. Y'all didn't see the drone What do you attack? mean, getting crazy? Shit's y'all been wild since, <laughs> like, the, Did y'all see the drones? The drones no, drone. the drones. What are you talking about? No, 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 dude. There was fucking two drones blown up at the Kremlin in Russia, which Russia said it was attack on Putin. Literally, like, bomb drones oh, from Call of Duty and everything oh, like sick. that. Yeah, y'all didn't see that? I haven't no, seen what, what, what happened today. What happened I've today? I've been working. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, but, but Daisy just said. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it today. That's probably why I haven't seen it because I've been everywhere today. But I, we don't talk much, you know, real world shit that matters and everything. But mm-hmm. uh, I don't know, man. It's getting, it's starting to get a little, little gnarly out there for me. I don't know what the hell is going to happen here soon. It's They're talking about ta- spicy. Taiwan's going to take an invasion here soon. It's just y'all just get ready. Take Re- an Red invasion. Up. That's what I say. Take invasion. You get invaded is what I'm going with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, where's this going? going? <laughs> Conspiracy <laughs> theory hour, power hour? No, these are like real life. Th- Do y'all not read? Do y'all not yes, care about I stuff read. that happens in the world? I just haven't seen it today. I just didn't see that today. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ! Whatever. I was. Just I got a text. I got a text because I apparently. Did you say something else other than that? Because I got a text from the other room because Landon is screaming and like acting crazy in the room. So she was. Aaron was checking if I could hear him. No, so I didn't. Okay. <laughs> we didn't. We no, no land in this uh, in the last five minutes for me. I didn't hear. Him. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> oh whatever. <laughs> I was just. I was wondering if y'all were excited for Red Dawn or not. That was basically what I was getting at. Of course, I'm always excited for Red Dawn. Now, Less are you now, ready? Because I have a kid. Now, mm-hmm. now that I have a kid, no. But hey, wait, those situations are going to suck in that situation. What, did your kid cry randomly? Is he at? Is he at that age? Is still making usually. Sounds? I mean, yes, but usually it's like crazy toddler uh, way of having fun sounds. It's not like screaming, crying. Yeah, it's just like random ass noises at. Random times. 
I always wonder, like, how do you, how are you going to handle those situations and shit? Like, th- I mean, granted, we're talking Take hypotheticals here. Oh God, Jake! Look Christ. at the flowers. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'll tell him you said that, Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing back here? Coincidentally, I found a very good place to hold up though last night for okay. that style, like for is that it, thing. Is it the here. crackhead's dungeon below you? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. No, it's just a very remote spot that I went hiking, but it's not that you, interesting. So. You don't want to tell everyone the coordinates of this place? No, it's my spot. It's your spot. Okay. It's gotcha. my spot. And you, I guess y'all's too if you need a spot. If you need cool. to. I got a couple out here. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Um, Fucking Ben, going back to your uh, patio furniture conversation I was talking about. <laughs> I have a theory that I came up with the other day. You know, everyone's like 30, they're freaking out and stuff like that. You know, turn 30, it's where to get my life together. Crisis. Yeah. 25 is the true number. And I've had a few, I've been doing a study on a few people. I met Jade. I'm not doing a study on Jade, obviously. I met Jade when I was 25 and she was 19. And obviously she still had some growing up to do and stuff, but she was a very mature 19 year old. She's 26 now and everything. And all her friends are on the same age. And it's so funny how you watch them hit that year 25 and things just change like 19 they all like going to the clubs and stuff like that and it's just like once you hit that 25 you're like i hate these motherfuckers at the club like things it just flips yeah like for instance her best friend jared you know y'all know y'all both know jared he's a he's yeah. a wild boy he likes his club and he likes his dancing he, we were talking the other day he just turned 25 last year and he's like i hate these motherfuckers i'm leaving by 10 i just want to sit on my couch and i'm just thinking about just think about everything we do you ben you just bought patio furniture was was 23 year old ben talking about buying patio furniture yes actually <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, i had a house at 23 so yes i was oh that's true we can't we always forget that ben lived ben an entire ass life <laughs> <laughs> before we did you know? <laughs> we won't get back into that was for andrew to not much um <laughs> But, like, this past weekend, I went out Saturday. We went to Old Navy. I bought, like, four pairs of shorts. We got some food on the way home. And it's just like, ah, what a beautiful sun- uh, Saturday. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to come up with a term for the 25-year rule and everything. But It's called the quarter-life crisis. The qu- How is it a crisis? Because you're not freaking out. You just start. You, you, you start- literally just said at 25. You're freaking out. Like, you're like, oh, man, I don't like any of this stuff. Everything's changing. That's a that's a that's a midlife crisis this is like oh i need to do something different or like this isn't but, working for me anymore but you're not freaking out you're like seeing things that you did growing up like that's when you start realizing all the There's things you were doing are dumb yeah. is that not is that not freaking out no because you're like okay with letting it go you know are you I know, okay with it though oh i was okay at like 20 so <laughs> ben ben is projecting right now <laughs> I was freaking out all the time. I'm always freaking out. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, you if you know. always freak out, nothing's a freak out, and you're fine. <laughs> Whatever. No, I just. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Because um, I'm, yeah, so ready to buy a house. I don't know about you guys. I am ready to buy land. Of bed. Good luck. <laughs> but, like, see, but like, See, I was like, I'm that. like, I want to live in apartments forever and bounce around. Why would I want to buy a house? And because it's tied down to one place. But yeah. Like, you just change. It's so I you was to like buy that. A house? I was like that, but now I'm. I could not care less about a house now. Really? Uh, yeah, it's weird. I've kind of flipped on that before. With I was the like, fam? Mm-hmm. I just do not care because because what's your, partially what's your thinking? partially what Ben said. Um, how are you going to afford it? Um, I hate being the guy that's in con- that is in charge of fixing every little thing. No. In, around the house i absolutely hate the upkeep that comes with that kind of thing it's just too much responsibility for me i would just i'd rather pour whatever money that i do have that would not be going towards repairs a fixer upper uh just in general a mortgage even though a mortgage would be cheaper than rent in most cases um and put that money towards experiences while i can still have experiences that's just me personally i mean yeah but when you're thinking about the upkeep and the fixing and stuff like that, it, it's a lot different when you own it yourself. Like, no, it is. Rep- do you? But do you own it? 
I mean, the bank owns it, but you, you know what I mean. But does the <laughs> bank own it? No. Chad, who's 80 years old, renting out seven different homes, who's not going to come to your house when you have a problem, and he's just going to collect your money. He's the one who owns it. I was talking about owning your own house. Yeah, he's talking Again, about buying his own house. <laughs> go back to site A. How are you going to afford your own home? Now, you can't own your own home. I mean, you can. If, how, but how do you know? For you niche cases out there, ignore me. But for the general... <laughs> It's getting harder and harder. It's getting harder and harder. Yeah, where the hell am I going to come up with five hundred thousand dollars? I mean, you're basically stuck there for the rest of your life. And five hundred thousand dollars will won't even get you a that great of a house these days. No, it's like a it's like a cookie cutter piece of crap. Unless you want to live in like Kansas or something. Yeah. Dude, I remember driving through Missouri and they had like you know like a big apartment complex would have like the sign on the side of the the complex saying for rent. And mm-hmm. so, sometimes they'll like prices and stuff. I remember seeing like three bedroom, two bath, brand new, like everything furnished or not furnished, but like all new appliances and stuff. It was like 800 a month. And I'm like, $800? I was like, oh, wait, we're in Missouri. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to fucking live out <laughs> Yeah, that's, that, that'd be why. I just can't imagine what it was before all those uh, the pricing and stuff went up. But man, I, you got to think positive. You never know. You might find that gym. I, I want to freaking just garden on a saturday you know that that's all i want to do i'm a handyman not, though i don't mind fixing shit so that's that's not positive that's denial <laughs> i can't with you <laughs> There's, you can you can hope you can you can hope ben, sure but you know. ben is grabbing virtually grabbing a hold of taylor's face right now and be like Give up on your dreams. <laughs> it's unattainable. What's the, 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 the Billy Madison when he's grabbing the kid by the face? He's like, yeah, don't go. Don't go to high school. <laughs> what are you working 70 hours for? Like, what are you saving up for? Like, what, what do you, why are you I, killing I mean, yourself right now? You, you can't even save up. Uh, a lot of it is for a, your wedding trip, boys trip three. Um, and then the other one is supporting Emily through her sommelier or sommelier. Uh, uh, I thought get, she was working. So that. She is working, but oh. she has a lot of like student debt and um, other like finances and stuff from like before we met. Mm-hmm. So she's getting all that. Well, when all that's up, paid so off, I'm, guess what you can afford. When well, it is paid off, there is a there is a chip, but that's a conversation for another day. You ask why I'm working well, seventy hours a week because I'm being a supportive husband, bitch. The people's elbow <laughs> comes down on the unsuspecting. <laughs> don't ask these questions when you're going to get wrecked. I don't know where that came from. I, I don't either. Just, I just saw right. I was like, hello. When Did Ben goes on the autopilot, that? there's just all kinds of accents that come out of nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's just, you, you went from like, right the, the rock rail, to Steve Austin to back to Ben, like I <laughs> you were all over the place right there. <laughs> I, but okay, so but you obviously you well, don't also work. a lot of it. A lot of it is uh, in preparation for uh, leaving one of my jobs. So like mm. I'm working while I'm making good money to save up so I can actually not have to kill myself working and that makes sense. like work somewhere that I want to. Gotcha. So a lot of it's just preparation going into busy season. Uh, just, you know, make the most of it. Oh, is it yeah, embracing I mean, the suck for a couple months? You know, just riding the waves, baby. I mean, me and Aaron are saving, um, but it's not specifically for house. I, eventually, that is what I want to do because, I mean, obviously, you don't want to skip around from rental to rental for the rest of your life. That's yeah. part of the yeah. And a lot of times, hey, eventually, it's going to crash. It's going to come down. It's going to come down. <laughs> yeah, gonna, all things come back. <laughs> Um, and in a lot of cases, mortgages, uh, especially nowadays, depending on what you get is cheaper than having to rent somewhere, which is nice. Um, but I don't know. I just, it's just not at the top of my list anymore. It just physically, at least for now. it just physically hurts me. If you go back and just where we've been paying rent, well, realistically what we've been paying rent for like eight years, I guess you could say, I know you lived at home for a while, Andrew. Yeah. So did I for a good Something bit. Like that. Then I know you were out there for a little longer, but like. If you add that up, that's that's over a hundred thousand dollars you've paid in rent in your life. If you really think about it, and it's just like hearing that number is just like 
So what I'm what I'm hearing is that it's you want to go depressing. back to living in your mom's basement so you can save money. If she had a basement, absolutely. and not pay rent, absolutely. Yes, isn't that everyone's dream? No. <laughs> have you ever Have you ever moved back in with your parents? I have. Well, I let have. me tell you what: it is not a good time. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not a good time. When I so when no, I, I do not want to do that. I graduated high school and I moved to Orlando for a year to go to culinary school. And I, I had my own apartment, one bedroom, one bath, awesome, doing whatever the fuck I want. And I wanted to leave culinary school, but I couldn't afford living without it because I had like a, I don't know, some kind of loan they were giving me and shit. And uh, yeah, I went home and that, they're like, all right, we're going to start charging you rent. And it's like, what? <laughs> See, but I'm not talking about early 20s. I'm talking about like mid to late 20s. Oh, no. Or like, like in yeah. my See, case, so I was now, a freaking 30 year old man. Yeah, and you lived at home for yeah. the last, last for, uh, month for ago. two years. <laughs> for two years. Yeah. What? And I, I lived with my parents yeah. when I was 20, before I moved to Asheville because I, I lost my job yeah. from the government. Which I am thankful for. Because yeah. I needed it at the time for sure, and yeah. like, I needed somewhere to be able to get back up on my feet. COVID really screwed us, and having a oh, kid yeah. at the same time it is just not a good mixture. But um, but at the same time, you get a taste for that. You have a few years of it, moving around, you're living your own life, you have your own thing going on, and then all of a sudden it gets put on hold. You have to go back home. Um, yeah, that's the most unhealthy I've ever been mentally in my whole life. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I, I privacy, privacy is big. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but just having yeah. that solitude that I have my own space. In the I just bedroom. felt like an utter failure. I just felt like a complete yeah. failure the entire dude, time. You think you think my sleep schedule is bad now, dude? I would stay up probably three out of seven days of the week till the sun rose. <laughs> just be like up <laughs> all night long, just uh, no doing bills whatever. To worry just about. Like, yeah. Well, no, it was just more like, oh, I'm fucking here with my parents. Like, oh. what the shit is? Why am I here? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I left it's a, when it's I was, a, it's a doozy. I left when I was like about to turn twenty five, and I haven't looked back since. And it's just been like a now. Granted, during COVID, I moved in with Jade's parent or dad for about six months in Georgia. Yeah, we got we got the fuck out of there as soon as possible, <laughs> you know. Um, but no, I I can't imagine living back in there. Granted, you know your family's always there for you, and they'll they'll take you. Back, yeah, but yeah, I just no. And I'm then so I'll bad. bring us back to subject A. Can you imagine being stuck with your family in a cabin for like <laughs> 24 hours? No, neither can I. I love my family, but each year they actually, similar situation to you, Andrew, they always want to, my grandparents have a cabin up in northern Georgia and they always want to do like the reunion type thing in Dollywood too and stuff. And they're like, oh, really? 20, 20 of us can fit in this 30 person cabin. Look, they got like 10 rooms and stuff. And I'm like. Do y'all remember all of us in the same damn room at all? It's literally, you know, my family. You've taken family you go, photos for us. You go in there and you're just having PTSD the entire time, thinking you're like a ten year old kid again. Like, ah! like all, all the girls everywhere. just yelling at each other because they're the same yeah. damn per. Oh my, Ooh, love you out there, but good god. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, turn thirty, turn twenty five. I'm sorry, turn twenty five. Your mind changes. I have a I have a term for it. I'm thinking of a good slogan for it, but I'll get there. But it's just a thought I had this week. It is it is what it is. I'm happy you yeah. know you bought some patio furniture, Ben. You know that that, uh, that helped Congrats. Uh, help dive into that story a little bit more. You got into the spirit, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a movie this week that y'all need to watch. And tell me and if y'all have seen it. Please tell me, but it we was all, called. We all know I haven't. We all know I haven't. Yeah, that's true. You don't even see the <laughs> the big ones or anything like that. Uh, we like watching random crappy Netflix movies. Do y'all do that? Just like random no. ones that are straight to Netflix. They're they're basically the new age straight to DVDs. Mm -hmm. But this one, it's called Stowaway. It came out last last year, twenty twenty one. I don't know what year we're in. Pass. I feel like no, I've no, 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 no. I was skeptical on it first because like the lead actress is, and I'm not a big fan of her. I've never really seen her, but it's um. Oh, oh, Jesus! What's her name? Anna? Uh, Pitch Perfect. What's her name? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, oh, Jesus! I don't know, but yeah, I know who it, you're it is. About. It's Anna Kendrick. There it is. Kendrick, Thank you. Okay. Complete space movie. It's, and you only see the four people in space this whole time, bro. It is Interstellar meets 
Apollo 13 or Apollo 11, uh, whichever that one is. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's just a crisis movie on them trying to figure out how to save themselves and stuff. Now, granted, I was, you know me, I, you know, I got high as shit and I watched it. And some of these (laughs) movies are way better. The intensity, the, the scenes, it's a very atmospheric movie with like Hans Zimmer style build up music in the background. It just sucks you in spacewalks and stuff that were just like, Oh my God, what the fuck is about to happen? I highly recommend it. it I don't know why that was a straight to Netflix movie. So is there a 5.6? That doesn't mean shit to me. Uh, out of uh, what? 10. 10. Oh, <laughs> does not, does not mean shit to me. Um, so is there a stowaway passenger on the ship, on the ship? I mean, you see in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, one of the, the engineers on the pad, he got like knocked. They didn't really dive hardcore into it. Cause I don't want to dive too hard into it, but basically, yeah, he got uh, trapped in this uh, compartment on the ship, and they realized they found him. Like there was like blood dripping out of the the wall, basically out of a screw hole, and they open it up, and he falls to the ground. And they only have enough oxygen. There, it's a deep space mission. They didn't really dive into the world, but it's like we've colonized Mars, basically, or into the plot. <laughs> What? Well, I don't want to give too much in away of it. But no, you uh, said they didn't dive into the world to explain why, like, or into the plot. Like, what, this is just oh, hey, look, no, 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 no. <laughs> the, 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 the where they are in the world, like where they, like you uh, said it when we were watching The Last of Us. I was like, I want to know how yeah. the virus spread and everything. You like, you gotta let the secrets be and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. They, that's um, what they do. That's what they do. Yeah, throwing a two-year yeah. mission to Mars and all this shit. Um, they, they're like the tenth mission that's gone. It's like well into the future a little bit, and uh, but they don't have enough so oxygen the, for four people on the ship. Is what the issue is okay? That's they the have whole to try issue. And figure out how to carry out mm-hmm. their mission with an extra body to take and care they, of and all that. And they go through like, should we kill this guy type shit and everything? Like all it's it's huh the whole time and you get like weird vibes from the guy like why is he on the ship did he meant to be on a, as mm. a stowaway and everything but i don't know you got to watch it uh the other person in the movie is the um the really quiet asian guy from lost i always forget his name but i always Daniel like Daniel uh, yes yeah i always like everything he's in and stuff so um highly recommend y'all watch that one it's it's intense i know y'all especially you Ben you question things i like but we also like some of the same things <laughs> I, I can got, tell you right now, I probably will not be into this. I, I will I will listen and appreciate your... I could tell you right now, you definitely would be, <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead. I might, I might, I might enjoy this one. Andrew, I don't I, like, I, I don't like space movies for the sake of space. All right. This, this comes so as. it's not, it's better than, what's that, uh, uh, that gravity movie? It, it. Out, wait, it, also never saw that. I, I, no never, interest in that. I have no interest to in seeing that one because it just it looked terrible. But it also did it yeah. on a ten million dollar budget, and it's better. It yeah, the space scenes remind me a lot of Interstellar when they're problem solving on the spacecrafts and doing all these things and stuff. Which I, I like. I like the timey wimey sciencey like how do we do this talk? They're they're having it's so. like oh it's like the Martian also where they're trying to figure out how to survive. They're doing stuff. They're growing algae and everything like that. And I like the Martian sleep. a lot. So yeah, so. That's my that, that led to my uh, Instagram question of the week for everyone to see what any, any new movies out there we need to watch or TV shows. Y'all have any gems that y'all feel like no one watches out there? Not even specifically on Netflix. Um, I was say Netflix sucks. That's true. I <laughs> honestly, I the Dune trailer came out today, and I my brain just is not holding anything other than <laughs> I don't care about literally anything else of the year now. I still haven't seen that. Still have not seen Dune. Oh my god, dude! I'm I am just way too hyped for that movie. Um, I haven't really watched anything new though, and I, I haven't done a lot of those things, uh, those movies like you're talking about. That what is Jamal doing over there? <laughs> We're doing research. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, we all know I don't really watch a lot. Uh, the only thing I would say is I did start watching Miracle Workers. Ben, at your suggestion, it's great. I finished the first oh, yeah. season with Aaron. What's that about? Um, it's the one with Daniel Radcliffe and uh, Steve Buscemi. Uh, the, oh, every season oh, yeah, is yeah, a new every, story. Yeah, there's a new season. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it Steve Buscemi God or something? Is that yeah. the overall? Yeah. Dude, that first season was freaking hilarious because they have to they have to save the world because he wants to blow it up. He's like, all right, I'm just going to blow up Earth. And they're trying to prove that like 
humanity there's hope in humanity and like okay get these two kids together make them fall in love and you got yourself a deal i'll save earth i'll I'll, I'll spare them and the the lengths they're going to to get these two people together they're just like murdering thousands upon thousands of people oh, jesus <laughs> they're like all right put the, just send this storm in this direction to like push this thing here and then they just wipe out the coastline and like just <laughs> It's ridiculous. I have no idea, <laughs> dude. It's it's hilarious. It's, okay. it's really good. I remember yeah. I remember seeing it on TV and stuff. I I always was curious about it. Yeah, um, a show that I, me and Aaron got into, which I've mentioned already before, uh, that I'm like jonesing so hard for a new season for is Ghosts, the BBC show. Um, uh, I feel like talk- a lot of people don't know about that because because it is BBC. That. Yeah. yeah, but that's a very good show though. Um, other than that. I've been I haven't been watching a lot other than like The Last Kingdom. So Are you into that one? Yeah, it took me a while. I wasn't sure about it at first cuz season 1 is very low budget and I did not like the main character at first I at all. Uh but the way the first season ended, it's it's like the, it's a Netflix show, so it's the shorter seasons, it's not a lot of episodes. So I was wasn't like that- I'll just stick it through and I'll check it I'll, I'll see how it goes. It ended nice and then I got into season 2 I was like, "Oh, oh shit, it's getting real good now." And wasn't I'm in season a- 3 right now. I thought that was like a TV show that, that got canceled and I think Netflix picked up. Or was that always a Netflix show? I think it was always a Netflix, but I'm I'm not sure. I know it's based off of novels, which I did not know before. Because a lot of the characters in it are real life characters, uh, like in real in history. But they're but the story is based on novels about these characters. Okay. Um, and uh, it's super good, though. It's really good. Okay. That was one of the suggestions this week. Someone said The Last Kingdom. So Really? Yeah, I might have to check that one out. We're kind of showless right now. What about you, Ben? Got any hidden gems? Jury duty. Is that the one with... Uh... It's the one with James Marsden. Yeah. And it feels very like Nathan for you. Or uh, what's the other show he did where it was the... Inter- not the interview. But anyways... But yeah, it's jury duty. It's one one guy who's actually there thinking it's jury duty, and the rest and everybody else is actors. And- oh, oh, okay. <laughs> There's that crime show where they bring in. I think that's the one you think about with uh, they they set up a crime scene with celebrities, and they act they acted out. I was what Will it's called um, uh, Ar- Arnett Forte or Ar- Arnett? Arnett? Yeah, Arnett. One of the are you I are you telling me this is the show that I'm thinking about, or are you? No, he's saying the other show that you're trying to liken it to, I think, is what. No, it was a, it was a Nathan for you, the the Nathan guy did it. It was like the rehearsal. That's what it is. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I did. I I kept seeing the trailer for that, but I I couldn't tell what the hell was going on in it at all. But that's, that's it's literally one guy getting called into jury duty. The entire other cast on the show is are all paid actors. <laughs> fake case, fake jury, everything. Fake case, fake jury, fake judge. James Marsden is in it. Who's the the guy from Sonic and like wedding at a, or was it yeah. funeral at a wedding? Yep. Um, and he's just there being like a showboaty, like oh I got to go do this movie, and he's like screwing everything up for everybody. And this like random no name guy is just trying to make sense of it all and like trying to do his best actual jury duty. That's uh, funny. Yeah, it's what's that honestly. On? Uh, Amazon Prime, or no, it's okay. on Freebie, but I mean, we watch it on Prime. Okay, but it is one of the know. funniest shows I have seen lately. Uh, yeah, that's that's my pick. Okay, nice. We'll look into that one. I yeah. saw something or about that, but I had no idea what it was. You know, I, it's 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 kind of just about jury duty. You know, <laughs> you it's right there it. in the title. You ever oh. seen it? <laughs> the nineties classic called Jury Duty, starring Polly Shore. No, no, I have. I do not like that man. You don't like Sam Polly Shore? I am. No, no, I do not. I love Polly Shore movies from the The 90s. only Polly Shore thing I even tolerate is the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. The Leaning Tower of Cheesa. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He does voice him, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't actually know off by name who Polly Shore is. And you know what's funny is every time I hear that name, I picture one of the Jersey Shore guys. <laughs> I mean, you're not too far off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. You know who Polly Shore you never seen Encino Man? I know the name, oh. but I don't think I've ever seen it. Jerry, oh, there's so many classics. I'm sure I would know him if I in saw In the Army now? Like. I mean, granted, all these movies sucked, but they're just. <laughs> I watched them a lot growing up because. Now know. I got to look up what he looks like. He has these shaggy hair and stuff. Polly Shore. 
He owns that famous comedy club in L.A. that everyone always talks about going to whenever they visit and shit. But, really? Yeah. No. I Big Polly Shore. Oh, what's, oh, that dude. Okay. Y'all, y'all just put some respect on this man's name. Come on now. No, he's not even that funny. He's kind of trying to be a rebirth. He's been like on a few Netflix movies recently and shit, but I don't know. But no, there was a couple answers. Uh, Swiss Army Man. I know you've talked about that one before. Someone mentioned that. I'm sorry. How is that a sleeper hit by now? Whoever answered that, you're wrong. That is a cult classic. <laughs> we have entered into cult classic oh. uh, door- territory, especially after everything, everywhere, all at once. The Daniel Brothers I would do say, no wrong. I would say cult classics by top, by a category arguably could be considered sleepers because the fact that they are cult classics, not classics, means the majority of the people have not seen them and therefore are sleepers to those people. Sleeper to the general public. Yeah, to the general public. And if also you're sleeping, wake up. <laughs> also, also, you asked who said that. Um, that was your sister. <laughs> oh, I know it was Sailor. You said that. I knew it was Sailor. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we went and saw that movie in theaters live, and I, I don't like what an experience. Oh my god! Anyways, next, next one. Uh, a silent voice on Netflix. I don't know if y'all have heard that one. I haven't looked Never into heard it. Of that. No, because it's silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> got him. Summer of Soul. It's about the Harlem Cultural Festival that is widely ignored by the media. Oh, that sounds cool. It does. It does. Um, I love the. There's a reason I love Luke Cage so much. Um, they got a lot of the soul of Harlem in that show and stuff. Um, yeah. That's where like all the character of that show comes from. Mm-hmm. And that would be it. <laughs> that was okay. On this one. <laughs> uh, and we got some, we got, we got a bunch of fucking, uh, I'm sorry. I got a weird text. Wow. What's the weird text, Way Taylor? To be professional, Taylor. What's, What's the say? weird text? What's well, it when, say? when your future wife, Text you from the other room saying code red. You know, you just kind of get stumped for a minute, but we're out of dog food. That's it. Um, it just it just means she wants her code red, a Mountain Dew yeah, code red. Hello. All right, I'll be right back. No. Oh. <laughs> Y'all got anything this week? Anything exciting to bring up? I just want to know what got a whole lot of fucking. What? What did you just say? You just what? Said, you just said we got a whole lot of fucking. Oh and yeah, you did. Down and ended. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know what we got. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole lot of fucking spam me- uh, messages off that post. Is what I was saying. Oh really? Yeah. You know, these bots be wild lately. They be oh, yeah. Wow. I had a hundred. I had over a hundred emails, and it was every like two minutes of like your Apple ID has been used to access an iPhone five. Please change your password, hmm. and I changed it. Four times and still got the messages, and I was like, "I'm done. They can have my stuff. I don't care. I'm done. I, just, I give up. <laughs> just take They're it. They're persistent. All. Yeah, take it all. So, that's, so you hackers listening out there, just be persistent. You'll get what you want. You you wear the heck out of me. Uh, God dang, dude. Ben's giving life <laughs> lessons to the hackers. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, it said iPhone five, really? Yeah. I, wow. Interesting. I, yeah, I was like, all right, dude. I At four mad. in the morning, you deserve it. I get, I get, the, I get, I don't ever delete my text messages, so I got a span of text messages from Amazon saying uh, sign in attempt from blah 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 blah. Sign in, I I never do anything about it though, because it's like I feel like if I change it, I mean they don't know it. I keep getting the messages, you know. Like, well, if you have two way authentication, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, oh. By the way, not spam the person trying to buy my Instagram name. They said two fifty was too much, and I never heard back from him again. So, oh, okay, yeah. I forgot about that. I did too until right now. We was talking about spams and hackers and shit, but thought I was going to be able to make some money and change it. I was thinking of a bunch of cool names. I might actually change it anyways because thought of some I want, but I'm not going to say them on there. But uh, why? You keep it. You keep it now. You got you holding this name for ransom. Yeah. <sighs> Every tailor out there wants it, apparently. <laughs> I want to hear these other names. No, no, no. Got to hold on to them. Got to hold on to them. <sighs> I might tell you off air. I don't want to put it out there to the five people listening. Oh. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> to the oh, plethora I mean, of go tailors. Straight to Instagram and create 10 different accounts and be like, no, you got to buy it from me. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft1.com. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Dude, I heard, I heard a funny question this week. 
Y'all, you know the microwaves. Do y'all ever, hear, you know, the 30 second button? <laughs> What? <laughs> you guys know the microwaves? What? Okay. <laughs> Look, I am hey struck- guys, do you know I about go- modern technology to cook your food? <laughs> let me let me tell you what. Hey, I am hey. struggling this week. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I am y'all struggling. Have a feast on this it. Keep it week. going. To come Y'all up ever with heard of this tents. cutting edge new technology in the kitchen? Yeah, it's called a toaster. Up here making fun of me. They don't do shit when it comes it's to content called a for this toaster. podcast. So I'm you trying put to some come normal up bread in there, no and then I all of a sudden it comes all, all hard and golden colored. Give me nothing. Woo-wee! It's the best invention, I swear. They bish and moan when I said I was the host. <laughs> they will be doing shit though. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me about these microwaves. No, fuck the microwaves, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're, you know, I'm gonna ask you some guess questions. What? They cook? No, we're, we're past no, that. No, they don't? No, no what, what no, were you actually... Cook, actually warm up. Yeah. What no, were I, you actually going to say? I, was, I, was, <laughs> I, I, I saw this reel. I was gonna make fun. I was gonna rip it, basically, rip it off. Do y'all hit the 30 second button a million goddamn times no matter how long you're cooking the damn food? Or y'all actually punching the numbers? <laughs> what kind of people are you? Mine doesn't have the one that we have right now doesn't have the plus 30 second button. Are so you sure? Because sometimes the, the, the inner button sometimes just does 30 seconds. I don't know if you know this. Oh, well, now I got to try it. I didn't Do know you know about microwaves? <laughs> Apparently <Andy>. not. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> That's all I had. It was it was the guy was questioning what kind of person you are doing that and he was making fun of people that just hit the numbers in, which proves my point when Ben said he hits the numbers in. You know. <laughs> You're exactly the kind of person, Ben, that Taylor <laughs> wanted to make fun of. I mean, <laughs> just hit the thirty seconds. The only button. thing I microwave is dethawing meat if it's like too close to dinner time. I don't really use it otherwise. If you have anything in there longer than two minutes, you're doing something questionable. That's all. But that's that, that's all I had. It's, Here's something. I don't know. Are don't you guys know. the kind of people that it bothers you when people get thaw and defrost mixed up? Not at all. Okay. No. I'm alone. Now, here's my <laughs> question. Same goddamn word. Are you the kind of people... Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying when people like... say de-thaw means to freeze. Oh. Because thawing is the process of unfreezing. Defrost is also the process of unfreezing. But people say de-thaw, and that's not what it is. And it bothers me. Honestly, I've never put that together. I've never heard that. I've never. <laughs> I well, now it's going to piss me off. Me, so. Now it's going to piss me off. <laughs> but are you, got, are you the kind of people who like cat-sized tigers oh, or horses? God. Cat-sized horses oh, Jesus. or horse-sized cats? Wait. You just said cat-sized tigers. Now we're entering uh, new territory now, here. And now I we're think just that's where I tigers. wanted to go into. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. Like, <laughs> big tigers or tiny tigers? Would you rather have a small horse or a tiger? I'd rather have a tiny tiger, but I mean, you basically have a tiny tiger if you have an orange cat. I mean, that's basically just a cat. Yeah, so. Anyways, there's <laughs> this, that conversation. <laughs> Weeks of doozy. Everyone's falling off this week. Until oh. I have everyone voting for a horse-sized cat, I will not end this case. It will never end. It'll never end. Uh, to be Good. fair, It'll though. Just... To be fair, though, I've never disliked to be your fair. idea of horse-sized cats. That does sound cool. I'm just think. I'm just saying. It sounds deadly. Like playing playing with fire here. Yes. <clears throat> Would you like to live or just be complacent? <laughs> talking about here <laughs> you live, would you like to live or just cat. live <laughs> are you are you talking to your to yourself mr work 70 hours a week yeah what's wrong with that having hustle huh <laughs> when did the kids in this country stop yeah. not honest day's work no <laughs> one wants to work anymore <laughs> well, damn you sir don't like working them damn millennials <laughs> I don't know what's going on for the rest of this episode now. I don't know what's happening. It's just free flow, you know? Yeah. (laughs) What's on the mind? What's on y'all's minds lately? See, that's what was happening, but now that you're calling attention to it, now I want structure. Now you want structure. 
right, here you go. Now, we were free flowing, but you can't say we're free flowing. You can't, you can't say we're Rick Rowling. You're also free you know? flowing I mean, to it's... say something you brought up five times already on an episode. So it's like, you know, are you free what flowing? Do we, what do we bring up five times? The four size cats. cats? Four size cats. Yeah, <laughs> but I got you out of left field. You're like, oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Like, come on, that's dude. A, I think that's exactly what I said, too. He came up with one segment, and he just rides it for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> if a man says, I always lie, is that tra- true statement or false? If a man says they only lie? I always lie. I mean, it, it's a, there's, there's too many variables. I don't, do I know this man? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> Is he my father? <laughs> <laughs> and he was there. <laughs> well. Okay. Uh... Do I know him? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> uh, I came across. Oh, man. I, I came across this list, like just a bunch of like random images people create of a bunch of philosophical philosopher big big word that taylor can't say falafel yeah falafel questions and stuff (laughs) philosophical questions out there and uh that was the easy one to start it off with i was just wondering what you think if a man says i always lie is that a state is that statement true or false if a man approaches me and says hey i always lie first of all i say who asked who are you also (laughs) yeah (laughs) but also if i don't know him and i don't know about any history of whether it's true or false if he's lying or not I'm inclined to believe him, but if a man says he always lies, does he not believe in the truth of that statement? So is he then telling the truth or is he lying? Is he lying to himself? He's telling the truth about lying, but lying to himself about the truth. Why does it look like you're reading notes right now? <laughs> I'm not. I'm closing my mind. I'm working this out, man. I mean, look, I'm, I'm in this. I'm in this. You're preaching. We're getting into the, phys- the physiological, you know, conversation. You know, falafel. indeed, it's the falafel conversation. It's the falafel. Right? <laughs> the falafel. <laughs> I respect that answer, even though I wasn't listening. I like it though, <laughs> even though I wasn't listening. Here, here, here. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one. This one's a good one. This one's going to bring some good convo. I think it better. A runaway train is speeding down the track. There are. Why five. is it doing that? That doesn't matter. Get over it. There. Are- <laughs> you want a good convo? I'm asking questions. All right. Um. Uh, what, what's the, the train called? I killed the conductor, and it's just going. Okay. Okay. There are five. Okay. Pe- I there can get on board. Five people on the track ahead, tied to the track. The only thing you can do is throw a switch that moves the train into another lane to save those five people, but unfortunately, another person is t- one person is tied to that other track. Kill the five. Good. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Dear God. <clears throat> do, if we look at this, uh, hold, on, hold on. Let me okay, just finish. Nope, Op- option A: Do nothing. Five people will die, but you could, but you could have saved them. Or B: Throw the switch. One person will die. But you are now a murderer. No, you kill the five because I'm sorry. Why is there five? Why are there five people tied to a railroad in the first place? If there are five people just there on the road, something tells me they just like they did something. I don't like, think the five people are tied. I think they're just there, and the the one person is tied. No, no everyone, it's everyone's a classic, tied. Everyone's tied. Oh, is everyone's, it okay? This is a classic one. It's either for the greater good or you sacrifice the one for the many. And no, those five people got into some oh, like hooligan crap uh, and they got me, caught. You want to tie to the railroad? You want a backstory? No, I've already it's given a, you the dash. No, 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 no. It's a family the, of five. It's a family of five. The father owed lots of money and very in debt to the mob. And okay. the mob is taking it out on his entire family. Kill and, the five. The children Jesus are part of the five. The mom is on the other side by herself. The father is with the children. At the, with the I'm well, sorry, listen. but killing the mom. Nope. You throw the switch the and be in the murder? The sins of the father follow through. The mom married into the wrong family. She can try again. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you take out this line of, of thought and you just boop, and try again. There you go. Done. 
Emily's going to be uh, having a lot of questions hearing me yell about I, this. I, <laughs> I, you know, you surprise me all the time, Ben. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the mom is the one who is tied up on the other sure, side. Sure, in this scenario, I just made this up. Scenario, yes. Okay, but there's still the rest of the family. The family of five is on the other side. We're calling it the dad <laughs> and four children. Now, obviously, you're the conductor. You don't know the backstory of any of this crap. Conductor's dead. Oh, yeah. You, that's right. You killed him. I killed him. You're what the you mobster said? who put them there. <laughs> dun, dun, um, dun. I mean, I would pick whatever was the least loss of life because you're the conductor. Or Okay, you're not the conductor. Conductor's no. dead. But, but if you, whoever is in charge of the train... See, you threw a wrench in the works when you said you're the mobster because the mobster <laughs> would pick the one with the most people. So, to, no, I don't know. No, no, no. I think the mobster, the mobster would, would pick the, mo- the one who owed him and couldn't follow through on no, the no, 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 the no, 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 it has nothing to do with this, but if the mobster was the one who was now in control of the train, I think that the the entire family would be on the one track together, and the dad would be the one on the side, and he would pick the family. Well, that makes so the dad easy. would have to. That makes so the dad easy. would have to live with the loss of his family. There's Anyways, no easy way out, Andrew. The bill comes due. I, that's what I'm saying. There's like four other deaths. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's not an easy way out. Y'all Anyways, make, y'all make this really mobster spicy. aside. No, no, y'all want oh, to God. make this really spicy? Sure. And Andrew, this one's going to hit home. Oh, God, I hate your, this. Your one child is on the other side, and five other random children are on the other side. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> being, um, being people you know, they're just not random kids. They're like your friend's kids. And we and I you can see new friends. And you can see into the future knowing the all five of these kids do great things. One's a great president, one cures cancer, <laughs> while your son is just like a drummer in a local band until he's 30. <laughs> <laughs> What's my son doing? He's he's in a Creed he's cover band in Jensen Beach. <laughs> he's playing Pineapple Fest opening acts for yeah. 50 year old Leonard Skinner cover band. Um I mean I'm I, I'm always going to go for the least loss of life. So, and if kids are involved, you just threw a wrench in my works by saying there's kids on both sides. I'm going to go for whatever doesn't have the kids. But if there's kids on both sides, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dive out the train and take myself out so I don't have to think about it. Just walk away. If you <laughs> don't walk- see it, you were never there. <laughs> <laughs> Because, because I, I don't know if the dad is on the same track as all the other people, and then there's just the mom on the one side. You take out the mom, obviously that sucks, loss of life. But the kids still, you know, are alive, and the dad has to live with his choices, knowing how much of a screw up he is, how how knowing that his misery is his doing. And we all know how well that one goes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're we're going with well Ben's going with team kill. Ben's them all. just going on murder spree. <laughs> and... No, I <laughs> produced an a, a full fledged thesis onto my decision. You do with that what you will. Cool motive, still murder. <laughs> <laughs> so was killing the one. Hey, Either way, you're responsible hey. for death. I know, and I'd rather be responsible for the least death, well, I, not I, kids. Either Still way, going to jail. it's not either way you're responsible for death. If you don't touch the thing, you had nothing to do with it. You're a random person that just walked up on this situation. No. Yeah. And you had yeah. a, you had an option to, to 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 do something. You didn't do it. So if now there's an coward. option, now you want to be a coward. Well, well no. If if there's like a some a, a welcome to America, an active shooter situation going on, you could stop the guy, but you also might get shot. Yeah. Are you? It, it, but legally, if, you, if you don't stop him, are you? Are you a murderer? Are you responsible? Legally speaking, legally speaking, you're not in trouble if you don't touch the thing, right? Because but are it's you an a impossible coward? situation. But morally, you're... morally, I would say, yeah, you probably are. Um, I mean, because I know, um, if there was an active shooter, if this was that situation, um, and especially if my family was present, or if like I'm not going to be one of those guys, but like, man. I wish they'd try me, man. Like, you know, yeah. the typical white guy response. But I mean, yeah. you, you got to try something, right? Yeah. Like, you got to try something. So if yeah. you know it, what's coming, you see it coming and you don't press that button, or whatever, to switch tracks. If you think it would be the best possible outcome, even if it 
lands you in a shit storm of trouble for making that decision. Yeah. I feel like you need to make that decision, at least on my part. I don't know. Kill the five. Kill the five. No. <laughs> Kill the five. <laughs> I would have a nice conversation with all six of them, being like, so y'all see the situation I'm in. <laughs> you know, if I was the one person, I'd be like, obviously, you're going to pick the five people. Just kill me. So it is what it is. Let's, let's, next question. Yeah. When it's not so dark. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> that one got darker the more we added on to it. <laughs> people <laughs> die. No. The people of Athens have kept the ship Theseus in good repair, replacing its parts as they decayed. I like this one. Eventually, not a single original part of the ship is left. Is the ship still Theseus? Yes. No original parts on it? Yes, it doesn't... What? What? <laughs> eventually, eventually, there is no original part left. It's completely and totally rebuilt. New pieces. Is it the but same it's over time. new crew? New crew? No, it's not. It's not a crew. It's in a museum. It's it's, it's up the to, actual it's ship. It. Yeah. If it if it's up kept in a museum, then no. But if it is a actively sailed ship that is being oh, repaired you're, over time, you're seeing it as the people I'm, that sail oh, it. I'm, yeah, I'm seeing. I'm talking about this is still back then. They're using this ship for war. And yes, shit if like they that, are still so. using the ship, okay, then then yes, it would still be the Theseus because it is the crew and everything that embodies a ship. This is, an interesting, this is an interesting <clears throat> version of this that I've never actually heard before. Because um, I'd say, I would side with Ben, if this was an actively being used ship and it's just constantly having parts replaced, eventually it becomes a whole other ship, but it doesn't matter. It's the same crew, it's the same spirit. Um, it's the Theseus. But if this is an, uh, like the other version of this that I've heard is it's the original ship in a museum that's being um, renovated over time to keep its part, to keep itself from disintegrating or whatever. Eventually, it becomes not that ship anymore. It, it's a recreation of that ship. The replica. A replica, yeah. Okay. Cool. But I like what Ben's saying about the same people. If it's the same people, it's the family that makes it it that stays on the ship, even though it's a new ship. Mostly, oh. it's still the Theseus. Same concept, change the whole Theseus and everything. Your family's lived in a house for 20, 30 years, same house. You decide to fully remodel. I think if you just gut the house, it's still the same house. But if you knock everything down to the concrete pad and you build a new house, it's a completely different house. house. Yeah, But it's still the same spot, same people live there, same address, though. New house. It'd be the same house. Or, I'm sorry. It'd be a different house, same home, because the oh. people make the home. I, mm. I, okay. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of different. the dad stuff. <laughs> there, there's maritime. There's maritime law, and then there's the home. No, there's different things. Going no, no, on. no. The, it is different. It is different. But yeah, uh, that's what I would say for the house thing. Here's a. Uh... It's a little wordy, so y'all got to pay attention. Ex-president, uh, ex-president of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences came up with the following fictional case to show how different legal consequences can follow each twist in a homicide. Okay. If a guy jumps from a building with the intention to kill himself, but on the way down is shot dead by a bullet fired from the apartment below from a husband who wanted to scare his wife with an empty gun, but the gun was secretly loaded by the guy okay. who jumped because oh, he wanted Christ. the husband to kill his wife. <laughs> did, y- did y'all follow that? <laughs> yes. Yes. The man up top loaded the other man's gun because he wanted him to accidentally kill his wife, but the man jumps to commit suicide afterwards and accidentally gets hit with his own bullet. Yes. Okay. I didn't, okay, I was worried y'all weren't going to get that. <laughs> it's a yeah, lot. Okay. Is it suicide or murder? It's stupid. It's <laughs> what it is. It, stu- it's it's <laughs> none of the above. It's not. It, it's not any. Well, I mean, technically, the more you think about it, <laughs> it no, no. Yeah. Technically, it's suicide, anyways, because he jumped with the intention of ending it, so he died either way. That does. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much case stop. I would I, say. Yeah, I would say. 
if the bullet didn't hit him, obviously it'd be suicide. I would say you could consider it assisted suicide because he, while he but did he assisted himself, he still died by his own hand, but in a different way than he intended in a very roundabout way in a mm. very dumb way, <laughs> a very comical way. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess you could still consider it suicide because it's still his own doing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm, I think I'm going to lean suicide there also, but that one, uh, that one was a little wordy on it. The first, the first thing, as soon as you started talking about the guy jumping, I thought it was going to be about someone saving him. And we're going to get into the whole beginning of the Incredibles plot point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was one more and I lost it. So never mind. Cool. Yeah. All I will it. say is that everyone needs to go see Super Mario Brothers. Hands down. Great. That's flick. what I've heard. That's what billion, I heard. There's a made, little it's made a billion dollars. Go watch go watch the trailer and there's a little blue floating star in in, in prison cell with Luigi. And the little star is like <laughs> We'll never get out alive. Hope is meaningless and existence is nothing. Or like just these like nihilistic freaking comments in the middle of a children's movie. Oh, they got and, to. Uh, yeah, they got to. It, it, it's it's fantastic. But at the end, they they say something. I can't remember the actual words, but it's like the super dark nihilistic comment of like you're still here, embracing the black void of you know <laughs> like the post grad is. Ah, uh, this makes me want to play saxophone. And then it starts dancing around playing saxophone. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is a personification of me. <laughs> uh, you just play, play a saxophone and have some really dark thoughts. Let's then go, a little baby. blue star. <laughs> Emily and I were the only ones in that theater. We were dying. You, uh, that was a, you had a good your, movie. Though. You had your Chris Evans and Free Guy moment. Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I want to see. Who, who made that movie? What studio? I, I, Illumination. I meant like um, no, universe. Is it they're like universal? Universal. They're, is universal? Yeah, okay. Universal is over Illumination. Gotcha. Okay. What else is they? What else have they made? Illumination. Despicable Me. Despicable Wife me. of Pets. Okay, so it's part of those. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I've I've never really d- dove into those animation that animation world of you know those artists and stuff because I've never seen Despicable Me or anything. But I don't know. Like, I like Mario. I grew up playing Mario. We play Mario Party all the time and shit. It's just then you'll I, love it. Then shut the hell up and go watch it. <laughs> it literally is nothing but a nonstop reference to kids who grew up with the actual Super Mario Brothers. And it's just like, hey, kids, here's a fun story for you. Anyways, hey, you like 30 year old nerds. Remember this shit? This is a classic. <laughs> okay. and it's great. It's okay. great. I'll give, I'll give so it's away. kind of like Sonic, you think, in that sense? Um, I in think a way? In a way. Okay. I still enjoyed Sonic more, but... Because I, I was always more of a Sonic fan. I still haven't seen the movie. Go, go figure. But uh, I was always a much more of fan of Sonic than I was of Mario. Girl. Every day, every Wednesday when we record this, I think maybe today is the day that I <laughs> get just pissed off by some random comment <laughs> Andrew says. <laughs> every Wednesday, I'm proved wrong. <laughs> You haven't seen Sonic. You're wrong. Um, I know. Yeah. No. It's it's good. It's good. The only the only complaint I had is as silly as a joke of that that Chris Pratt is the voice of Mario you can't unhear it like it it's just it's just weird i don't know mm-hmm. and that's the best way to put it charlie day's luigi hands down best get an oscar oh my you god go, okay. i forgot he was the voice of the, okay i felt like they should i felt like out of out of those two he should have been mario but he didn't have the star studdedness i mean no it's not the star studdedness he he doesn't have the cookie cutterness charlie day is like He's wild card. Chris Pratt is just I'm yeah. cookie cutter main character voice and my it fits. It's just like <laughs> oh, let's a go. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard <laughs> I heard that originally he was supposed to have the Italian accent and he was just god awful at it and the studio was like drop the accent. So why like five him? minutes into five minute no five minutes into the movie they kind of retcon it. Oh um, really? Okay. Yeah, they have the original voice actor of Mario in there, uh, like a little it's small part here and there. Uh, but yeah, the whole it's a me, like the very heavy Italian accent was for like a commercial, which is oh, one of the trailers. Okay. And they're like, oh, why are you? What's up with the accents? Like, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, it sells. And it's like it, 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 it worked. It was it's fine. But 
it's already made a billion dollars, so I'm not worried about throwing money at it. So I'll definitely watch it when it gets home <laughs> on, on streaming. Yeah, I don't understand you people who don't like theaters. I don't understand it. I only like I like select, theaters. I like theaters too, but only select movies. Like I, I'm, I want to go and ex- animations don't do anything for me in theaters. I don't know. I'd rather watch big explosions and shit. So I'm going this weekend. Guardians. Excited for that. Another Chris Pratt. Oh, that is guard. That is this weekend. It's. I feel like this is going to be the last Marvel movie that's like tied to the, good. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's tied to the the past Marvel movies and stuff. That's yeah. like, I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna cry. I'm not ready for these rocket scenes as a child. I keep seeing and everything. And one scene where Chris Pratt's literally bawling his eyes out and everything. So. Yeah, like scream crying. I'm yeah. like, oh, oh, that's more emotion than I've ever seen on Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so no, I'm a. Uh, I'm excited for that. We're probably gonna go Saturday night and see it. So y'all go see it so we can talk about it next week. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting more Chris Pratt talk today. For some fucking reason, I watched that movie Tomorrow War again today. I just had to see it again. Okay. God, that movie sucked even the second time around even more. <laughs> that that plot I didn't is, mind it. It's like the plot. I didn't it, either. The plot was cool and fun. I just wish I could have seen it like. I don't know. They, 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 the, the humor in it, like all the, the quick jokes and stuff kind of got old. It's like the seriousness of the movie was taken away, but just go watch edge of tomorrow. That's all you need. It was a repeat edge of tomorrow. I keep thinking See, that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm finding about myself with things lately and probably why I'm been falling out of movies so much is they when sucked. I watch movies, well, there's that. But when I when I um watch movies, I want to be like taken out of reality. And for some reason watch movies Stowe. just have, watch Stowe. It does sound it does like it does sound like the kind of movie that would do it for me. But like for some reason what uh, whatever I have been watching for however long, it just hasn't really done that for me. Mm-hmm. And when do that's why I'm so excited for Dune is cuz when I saw the first one when it came out in theaters, one of the absolute best theatrical experiences I've ever had in my life. The entire time I was in the theater, entire time I was in the theater, earth did not exist to me. Mm. I was sucked totally into this other world the entire time. And like, it just blew my mind even to this day. So, and I, I realized actually when the trailer for the new one came out, that's what I've been missing watching movies and why I haven't really been super, uh, like forward in making an effort to watch any other ones. Yeah. Have you seen everything everywhere all at once yet? He has not. It's it's something that I have saved, saved on my HBO thing that I do want to watch. And I that's for that reason. I want to escape, but I don't want to escape, says the Pavlov dog. Andrew, you know what helps with these situations? <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct wording, but it sounded smart, so I'm rolling with it. Getting high? Yes, yes. 1, I knew it. <laughs> No, no. Watching a movie that's like all over the place, baked man, it's like riding a no. roller coaster. It's like riding Watch a roller coaster. It sober, no, nah, no, nah, and you that's feel it. You feel it. It's and I you- forgot to say to your point about um, when you were watching Tomorrow War and about the humor, and it just kind of felt like weird after a while. That I've noticed that that kind of stuff kind of starts to take me out of it yeah. these days. Yeah, I like stuff that takes its material seriously. Like mm-hmm. so, something like Mario, of course inject all the humor you want into it, whatever. But if it's like a, an action movie that's like full of peril yeah. and everything, I want it to be taken seriously. Like not just like, Oh, an alien. Here's a funny quip. Yo, kind of thing. Y'all remember the old call of duty commercials? Not, not really that old, but a few years back where they would have like, yes, they would have the regular people in the combat in the yeah. street and stuff. That's what the movie felt like when they first jumped in and were running through Miami and everything. It's just I, I was like, I'm ready for a Doritos commercial. I had to you randomly and you compare yeah. that to Halo Three commercials, and you realize yes. we're not even on the same plane of existence. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, dude! The Halo Three commercials. Oh my god, I forgot about you. Just unlocked something there. That was part oh of God. like Emily and I's like courtship was like, hey, so there's this game and set of commercials that went with it that you need to watch. And we sat <laughs> down and watched like 30 minutes, like all the mockumentaries of the Covenant War and shit. Oh, my like, God. Like, this shit so was good. Real. Yeah, it was good. God, what was that? Uh, it had a name. I, I can't remember that YouTube video someone made, that movie with their – it's Halo themed. Or no, it's Halo. They were – I don't know. They were it fighting. was the Halo 3 intro. Was it the Halo Three intro? Where it was like, the precursor. It was a precursor short made. We got yeah, homie got jacked up, a... and thrown on the wall, and his blood went everywhere. Mm-hmm. And yes, like that. 
Yeah, no, that, that was a, that was so a test times. run for the movie that was supposed to come out. Gotcha. That event, yeah, it eventually turned into District Nine. Was Did you that ever long hear about ago? that? Yeah, yeah, I knew District yeah. Nine was originally started as the Halo project. The test footage Which thing I love with I love like the guy Nine. getting impaled to the wall and everything was test footage for what eventually ended up just becoming District Nine. No shit. I'm surprised it didn't lead to it or a Halo movie. Because sometimes these studios will release like uh, that's how Deadpool came to be. They released, remember they released yeah. that. Uh, animated short of like the whole bridge scene that they ended mm-hmm. up showing the highway scene and uh people were gushing over that damn little clip they released and that's how it came to be so well that's like the damn um cinematic trailers for the old republic the star wars games oh my god i love those god dude thing. They're so those good. videos are it's crazy so good what's the one that it looks like it could be like a, a different universe of han solo and shit and there, it's yeah, like, you know what I'm talking about. The, he's got the quippy. He's got. A, he's even got a ship that looks like the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, and they end up bad, like the apprentice uh, ends up killing the the Darth. Uh, I forget what his name. Yeah, is. he loses in the duel, so the his apprentice just kills him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like I think I've watched that thing 20 times on YouTube. It's so good. And have you like, seen I, the newest one? This. There's one that came out a few mu- a few months ago that uh, like a newer one. I want to say I did, but I don't remember it. And it's got it's got. I forget his name. It's 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 the guy who kills his master. It's mm. him older, and he's going in. And there's a there's a Jedi in his paddle on trying to go in and, and destroy this machine that's powered by a, a holocron. And the guy that the Sith that comes in wants the holocron, and he kind of is trying to turn the apprentice against his master because the apprentice was taken away from her brother when he was when she was little, but he, she doesn't remember the details of it. And she and the guy unlocks her memories in that moment, and she remembers. She always remembers it as being chosen by the Jedi, but then she realizes that that actually she was taken by the Jedi and they left her brother behind because he was worthless to them. Huh. And that and and he kind of almost kind of makes her turn on her uh master almost a little bit for a split second to get the upper hand. Oh and, yes, I did see, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and that. and he's like, "Oh, this the Jedi only take anyone they deem worthy in this machine that you're trying to destroy." is built to find those that the Jedi deem unworthy. Mm. And, and he's like, give me the holocron and I'll help you find her, your brother. And it's like, it's like six minutes of just peak storytelling. Like when you can tell a story that's that like engaging it, when mm-hmm. that small amount of time, I just don't understand why you can't do that in a freaking Disney plus show, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some things are just meant to be shorts though. Yeah. I mean- and it's, it's masterful. Like, I don't know. Anyways, more uh, Star Wars talk from Andrew. Go figure. <laughs> I mean, we're a nerd podcast, so it is. <laughs> well, it's time to get on out of here. It's been long enough. People are just like, what the hell are these guys talking about? Yeah, it's been. One way since you look. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we learned anything new this week. Oh, yeah. Uh, what did we learn? Ben is a cold-blooded killer. He will oh, yeah. kill all them kids. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, that's what you learned. Andrew's uh, well, we kind of knew that about Ben, but you know, that's understandable. Yeah. Ben, what'd yeah, you learn? That. What'd you learn? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all hear the music. Let's get on out of here. Any last words before we get out? <sighs> so long, farewell. A beat is an do. I don't remember the words. All right, everybody. (laughs) Tom. Tom, Daniel. (laughs) Say toodles. 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 Is it over yet?